So to those of you that I'm sharing this video with, this really is just going to be a simple kind of amateurish kind of thing, but uh, what I've done is I've built a spreadsheet that lets you tabulate a rank choice ballot election. And in order to do this, I have gone and created a bunch of randomized ballots. And so we have five candidates in this race. Washington, Streep, Eastwood, Goldberg, and Willis. And each ballot has a number. And then we place across these five cells the ranking that the voter assigned to this particular candidate. So in this case, Washington was first, Willis was second, Goldberg third, Eastwood fourth, Streep was fifth. And like I say, these were pretty much mostly just randomly generated using a little algorithm that I threw together. So what you see on the right-hand side is the representation of who is getting the first place votes that are kind of visually identifiable. And then we've got um, basically a series of formulas at the top, which automatically calculate the number of votes cast for each of the candidates in first position. In other words, highest position is recorded here. And so we get the vote totals of 764, etc., across the screen. And then the formulas are able to identify which of these is the lowest. And that candidate is now eliminated. So in order to go to the second round of tabulation, since nobody has 50%, we don't have a winner yet. So we basically go to the Eastwood column, and by simply pressing Control, Shift, Down Arrow, we select that column. And then if you press the Delete key or the Backspace key, the contents of that column will be removed. I should point out that I have all of that data backed up in a separate sheet right here. So we're not losing anything by doing that. It's just for the purposes of tabulation, we are removing the columns that are no longer viable, the candidates who are no longer viable, and the data related to preferences for that candidate. So once we do that, Google recalculates, uh, the spreadsheet, I should say, recalculates. And now we have a newly eliminated candidate, Willis who came in last in this round of tabulation after Eastwood was eliminated. So we are now going to do the same thing for Willis. Control shift down, delete, control home. And you'll see up here that Google shows you when it's calculating so that you can tell when it's finished. And now we have a third eliminated candidate and that is now Washington, who is in third in these three rankings here. Still no one has 50%. We repeat the same process, control shift down, delete, Control home to go back to the top. The calculation is being carried out. And now we have a situation where we're down to two candidates, Goldberg and Streep. And because Streep has crossed the 50% border or threshold for continuing ballots, uh, where continuing is defined as a ballot which has a preference specified for one of the two remaining candidates. And in this particular model, every ballot ranked all five candidates top to bottom, so that wasn't a problem. We have no exhausted ballots in this particular model. So there we are, Streep is the winner. And uh, this system, as I pointed out, I think, uh, is working pretty efficiently with 4,000 ballots, and it could do the same with 40,000 40, or 400,000. The, the number of columns that you can put at least into a... I'm not sure what the limit is for Google Spreadsheets, but uh, the limit for um, for Excel is quite high. So just about any situation that we would ever encounter in a private sort of election scenario, this spreadsheet could pretty much handle.